Let's show that the time of naivety is over. Economic gains should not make us blind to challenges. The Chinese Communist Party is posing to the liberal world order. The EU must be determined to defend our key values. 欧洲议会十六号发布压倒性通过的对中战略报告。报告员强调，必须捍卫欧洲的人权、法治和价值观。议员一致认为，跟中共打交道要把天真摆在一边。CAR will remain in the freezer until China changes course. We will uphold. The solidarity with Lithuania. Estamos al final de un inmenso malentendido que empezó hace 40 años. Tenemos que tener una política de resistencia frente a una agresión inmensa que se nos echa encima. 报告提出，欧盟与中国接触的六大支柱，谴责中共系统性迫害人权。议员表示。中共模式迫害人权，还企图输出世界。欧盟必须有战略自主。试金石之一是深化与台湾关系。Strategic autonomy for me would be a deepened economic relation with Taiwan, not as a provocation. Bien sûr, la Chine est un acteur mondial, mais nous devons avoir une autonomie stratégique vis-à-vis -vis du modèle chinois. Mais en rééducation, persécution des différentes minorités. Entrave à la liberté d'expression et d'association et à la liberté de la presse. Arrestation arbitraire des militants pro-démocratie, Hong Kong, Taïwan, Macao, pour ne pas parler du Tibet. Mais ces violations massives des droits de l'homme qui sont vécues en Chine, la Chine, elle essaye de les exporter. The government decided to upgrade relations with Taiwan. Today, we need to send a clear, simple message: business with China or in China is a very risky business. And second, China is big, we Lithuania are small. But we shall not be defeated because we are together. 中共以国安法与所谓爱国者治港，排除香港、澳门的民主派候选人。议员痛批：这不是民主选举。中共公然违反国际协议承诺。议会以五百六十五比三十四通过决议，要求欧盟将港版国安法问题列入欧洲峰会的优先要务，并建议欧盟与成员国就港版国安法把中共控告上国际法院。Hong Kong colleagues has been subject to one of the most brutal crackdowns we have seen in recent history. But this repression, colleagues, is not limited to China. The report also asked the other side to allow the public to investigate the COVID-19 vaccine. The members of the Chinese Communist Party called for a joint investigation to determine whether the vaccine was linked to the Wuhan virus spread in Wuhan. Ensuring this never ever happens again must be at the heart. Of our EU-China strategy, no more cover-ups. Full investigation. This is why this House should launch a special committee to examine the origins of COVID-19. 新唐人亚太电视胡宗汉、张东旭报道。